Hey guys, Philaris here with the Talia Red Start Full Clear. The Talia rework is pretty interesting to say the least. She's gone from having pretty crappy early clear speed to having one of the fastest Red Start Full Clears in the game. Now I do want to be clear that she's still on the higher end of champion difficulty, so don't expect to first time her in ranked and achieve a great clear. She definitely takes a bit of practice. Now just to clarify, I only had one prepped worked ground in this clear which I used on my very first Q. The rest of the worked ground that you see is just the visual bug and practice tool, so just pretend that it doesn't exist. I'm going to do a breakdown of the clear in the second half of this video as it's very technical. In the meantime, I want to take this opportunity to talk a bit about reworked Talia's clear overall. It's very quick, but it is not realistic to achieve 100% consistency on this champion. There is an RNG element. Her Q AoE is so small that tiny differences in how camps like Raptors move will sometimes prevent you from hitting your Q AoE on all of the monsters. So even if you get her clear down really well, expect your clear times to flex by a few seconds from game to game. It's not a big deal, since she clears so quickly regardless, but don't be surprised if your Q AoE sometimes misses the big raptor. Do your best to manipulate the monsters close together, as I show in this video, but understand that sometimes they will cluster in a really unlucky way, and your Q just won't hit them all. The clear I'm showing here is not actually the fastest that Talia can go, but because there's so much inconsistency with hitting her Q, I decided to showcase the most consistent methods I could find for each camp instead. So if you're trying to speedrun, there are more refinements that you can make, but I don't recommend them for actual in-game use. Now for the clear breakdown. First, prep one worked ground about 10 seconds before the first camp spawns. Prepping more doesn't speed up the clear simply because of how the damage breakpoints work out. The red will take 4 Qs to kill, 2 from worked ground, and 2 from unworked ground. Take E at level 2, and immediately auto E the big Krug. The most consistent way to get your Q damage onto both Krugs while minimizing damage taken is to simply walk behind the big Krug and Q, keeping it between you and the medium Krug. Once the big Krug splits, let the medium Krugs cluster together, and then throw another Q. Start kiting up towards Raptors, and make sure to wait until you're past your worked ground from ending red buff before queuing. Otherwise, you'll toss a boulder instead of pellets, which won't kill all the little crugs. Raptors are very difficult. You can never guarantee that you'll hit your Q on all of the Raptors while coming in at this angle. The most consistent method I found was to auto the middle Raptor, then walk up into the camp. If the Raptors cluster strangely, prioritize hitting your Q on all of the little Raptors. It's okay if your Q doesn't hit the big raptor, you'll just need a few more autos. You don't want any of the little raptors to live past your QE, or they'll body block your second Q from hitting the big raptor and really slow you down. Wolves are pretty straightforward. The most consistent way to do them is to walk up and auto. They'll cluster together, allowing you to hit them all with your Q. I don't use E here because you run out of mana later on if you do. Q the blue and begin to kite it to Gromp. If you want to prioritize speed, you can open the double camp as I show here. If you want to stay healthier, since Talia is so quick anyways, you can hit the blue for longer before beginning the double camp. Pay really close attention to how I drag the blue and Gromp together. If you're unsuccessful and they stay further apart, your Q will only hit the closer one, and you're basically just going to die. This portion of the clear definitely takes some practice, so don't try it in ranked without getting it down first. Thanks for watching, and feel free to subscribe. And as always, a big thank you to my Patreon supporters for helping to make this channel possible.